So he, instead of going the way he said he was gonna go, he went the other way, so I ended up going underneath the boat, and the propellers are coming towards me, and the only reason why I didn't go all the way underneath the boat was because there was a rope hanging that, while I was in the water, like wrapped around my wrist, and I just grabbed it, and like it pulled me off the side of the boat. How does that make you feel? <sighs> you know what? I, after the truck, and then that, I feel pretty darn like like something else bad is gonna happen to me. I'm just waiting. I'm always on. Well, technically, a spider did jump out of your face yesterday. Yeah, but I wasn't what? gonna die. Yeah, you could have. I wasn't gonna die. I would have. We can go ride some Supreme Scream, maybe. Yeah. Nah, the Supreme Scream's not as high as Lex Luthor's Drop of Doom. It, Supreme Scream is a hundred feet shorter than Lex Luthor's Drop of Doom. The more you know. Supreme Scream needs to step their game up. He's like, take it. This is in Disneyland. I was ready since they closed last year. Like, they closed last year. Two days later, they could have opened for this year and I would have been happy. Exactly. Now we are currently in line for our first maze of the night. Had a little bit of a difficulty getting in the park myself. We're in line for the first maze tonight, which is eight fingers nine. And it looks a lot really cool. There's the exit right there that you can see. It looks good. I cannot wait to go through eight fingers nine. And then we're gonna go through uh, Waxworks, Widows, Bloodlines is back here. It's already crowded back here. Everybody wants to go through the new mazes. Let's check it out. focused on getting the maze POVs. If you guys know, they're on the channel right now. There's Rob back there with his what camera. Happened? I got Sammy. Hey, what's going on, guys? And the beautiful here. Haze this is, is here. Rob with, with Nights of Horror. And, uh, I don't know, it says exploring attractions. So. No, 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 it's right here. It says, it says, it says Nights of Attractions Horror. Okay, <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, we, we just got done with the buffet. If you guys saw that little B-roll that I gave you guys, Rob told his boat story. So, you know, there's that. Hi, Rob. Tony. We're vlog. Tony right there. Vlog section. Vlog. Vlog. We do this all the time. We, yeah, we do it all the time. Vlog, time. vlog, and a vlog, and a vlog, and a vlog. We're going to go Sammy. through... Uh, Eight Fingers Nine back here. We got Bloodline, 1842. We got Widows, and we got Waxworks. Hayes. Tony's telling us what we're gonna do. Just Hayes has not Tony. done Widows or Waxworks yeah, yet. Yeah, but Tony has, and he's gonna do it again. I guess I gotta do it again, so we'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna go in. You might get a you might get a reaction video from, from me for, for this maze. I'm not looking forward to it. I don't know. I don't want that gun. 
I don't got much prep time. They're making me go through Widows again. I don't want to, but I have to um, because my girlfriend hasn't been through it. So this is the reaction cam for Widows and how uneasy it makes me fucking feel. Grandma! I missed you! I really didn't. I didn't miss her at all. Nope. Sorry, babe. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. They're making me come through again. Oh, that's for real reason. We're good. We're good. We're good. We are good. Everything is good. I am not good. Oh. That's it for the season. That's it. We're done. Cut. All right, so we uh, we just did Eight Fingers Nine. Uh, brand new maze here, not Scary Farm. What'd you think? Yeah, I really thought it was tremendous. Um, going through it our first time here was quite exhilarating. Um, even the lights were even though the lights were on, like it's a bright maze. It still has uh, moments of real scariness. So yeah. overall, a ten out of ten experience. Ten out of ten. Eight Fingers Nine. Very beautiful. Lots of uh, lots of details. Lots of great details. I enjoyed Eight Fingers Nine. I think it's probably one of my favorite walkthroughs that we've done so far at the event. Um, probably a contender for one of my favorite mazes this year. Um, I really thought the story was great. Uh, scenic was beautiful, and the actors were on point. So, all right, let's go check out another one of these bad boys. No black walls. No black walls. None. Knotts is pretty keen on keeping away from the black walls. So, uh, we're gonna go through another maze. Come back do another. Review. Got to do it even a second time, and that is review every maze for opening weekend of Knott's Scary Farm 2024. Now, I get so caught up in the moment when we're there, and so much is going on with all the scare zones, mazes, and stuff. I just forget to record. I just like to enjoy it sometimes, and uh, that that happened uh, both Thursday and and Saturday. So, or on Thursday, Thursday and Friday. So, you know, we're here. We're going to review all the mazes now. Bloodline 1842, we all agreed that that was probably one of the best walkthroughs that we had ever gotten for uh, the three years that it was there. It was really well casted uh, that opening night, and the walkthrough was just incredible. And uh, a couple times we actually got scared and stuff. So, yeah, Bloodline 1842 for the final year really went out with the bang, and uh, going to miss that one. <laughs> for 
Gary Hagan. Hang that witch! Hang the witch. We went out to Origins, the Curse of Calico, and, uh, you know, Origins is always a great time, and it was very well casted, and they did a great job. I, and you will hear this across the board all night, on Thursday night, all the mazes were super well casted, super amazing to go through all of them, uh, but Origins brought it, and it was great to see all the effects and all the different characters and stuff, and they had multiples of some characters, like they had actually two Catawampuses. Don't think I've ever seen that in the entire time since the opening of that maze in 2019. So it was good to see that and uh, just to see the witch flying around and the grimoire right in the middle. Such a fun time. We love Origins. Now, Room 13, uh, going into uh, this season, we were hoping for some updates with the soundtrack and some more uh, sound effects and whatnot to really bring that maze more to life. And they did a great job this year. They they really added a new soundtrack with some new music in the background with that same beat, but with some more jazz in the background, which I thought was really cool. And, of course, 
you know, it was really well staffed when we went through. So, I mean, it made the experience so much better. And, uh, I have to say for year two, it's a big improvement and that's what year one should have been, but they got it with year two and I am happy where it's at right now. So yeah, room 13 really hit this year. I got air cannon. Why does it sound like Chucky in here? Mesmer Sideshow of the Mind. Now, that was uh, a fun one. That's always a fun one to go through. One of our favorites debuted in 2021, uh, and it was another great one to go through. Mesmer uh, always delivers with the um, the Sideshow-esque uh, theming to it and having all these different acts kind of in a twisted, uh, demented way. And I really enjoyed it, really, going through this one. Such a fun time. We did find out, though, I don't think they're letting people through the red door this year. So if you guys are going to try to ask for the red door, just uh, just maybe glance over. If someone's standing in front of it, I don't think they're going to let you in the red door this year. I don't know why. Maybe it takes away from the effect of seeing the giant puppet. Who knows? But Mesmer was still fun. Again. 
Cinema Slasher. What can we say about Cinema Slasher? It's a fun one. It's a great one. It's back for 2024. It was a great maze debut last year, and to see it return this year, such a fun time. Um, effects were in full effect, and it, it was just amazing. They even added a brand new character, which was a popcorn bucket that had a knife poking out. It's probably the best character in the entire maze now, so shout out Popcorn Bucket. The Chilling Chambers. Now, I heard the beginning of this, this, the night for opening night, it just was going through a rough patch, and I guess that it was constantly going down. So when we finally got over there, it was around probably close to like 11 o'clock at night. We went through no problems. Such a fun maze. There was a few changes. They did take out the, um, the Keeper for some reason, out of the maze this year, and uh, obviously anything that had anything to do with the 50th anniversary is out of the maze now, but there was uh, a little bit of a, a shift change not having the keeper there to kind of guide you through and tell you the stories of what you're about to enter and stuff. I don't know why they couldn't have kept that. I don't remember the audio being about the 50th. It may have, but for the most part, I thought it was a good flow through. They have replaced it with some characters that are iconic throughout the years of Not Scary Farm, so you'll see them pop up on the screens uh, in the first room, at least, that I noticed uh, in the very beginning of the maze. So, yeah, Chilling Chambers, though, great time, such a fun time, so many Easter eggs, we love it. <laughs> Exactly! 
Stop swinging things into me, Rob! Go forth and find a mate! It's over! Thank God! Widows was the one that uh, everyone wanted to see me go through. And we went through it. And it was the best way I can explain it. Um, I'll start with the positive about it. It's a very beautiful maze. Storytelling is very well put together in that maze. It flows through very well. But since I hate spiders, fuck that maze. That maze is just intense. The, the soundtrack with the audio that they have going is very eerie and adds to that effect if you already have the phobia of spiders. It is just terrifying. I know a lot of the spiders on the wall are fake. They're not going to really move. But there are a couple props out there that jump out of you and get really fucking close. And it is scary as fuck. I've seen it firsthand. Didn't want it repeated to me, so I try to skip those rooms as much as possible. I have never clenched as much as I did in that maze walking through it. I had my entire body just clenched in the middle like this because I didn't want anything to touch me. I didn't want anyone to touch me. It was just in a fucking nightmare for me to go through. And I had to go through a second time because the fact of the matter was... Hayes had to leave early that night for opening night because she had to work the next day. So I wanted to go through with her, see her reactions on it. Um, and if you guys watched yesterday's video, that was the reaction video that we put out of me going through that maze. So, uh, yeah, that's the, the, the only two times I think I'm doing it this, this season. And, uh, yeah, I, until next season, widows. But, uh, yeah, I think everyone else really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it's been getting a lot of high praise at the event since opening weekend so um i'm hoping that more people will go through it and i can't wait to hear their opinions about it beloved creations i i missed my art oh, 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 making his debut from the fire that destroyed my beloved waxworks i arrive Last but not least, we went through the final year of Waxworks. It was great to go back through Waxworks. Such a fun time. Such a memorable maze in 2019 when we started going. That was a brand new maze. And to finally be there for it ending is kind of surreal to say the least. Because that means we've been going to the event for quite some time. At least covering on the channel. So yeah, we've watched it open. Now we're watching it lay to rest. So Waxworks. It was great. And if you guys like Waxworks, stay tuned next week because we have a very special video for you guys and you're not going to want to miss it. But yes, I wish I would have vlogged the Knights of Horror crew's um, reactions to everything. I lacked on that and that is completely my fault. But tune in tomorrow. If you tune in tomorrow, we are going to have a Dark Harbor vlog that me and Hayes went out last Saturday to go check out. We filmed an entire vlog, our reviews, um, honest critiques, all that fun stuff. Check that out tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss it. The first reactions and opinions and thoughts of Queen Mary's Dark Harbor, the return of Queen Mary's Dark Harbor 2024 by yours truly and the beautiful Haze. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Love each and every one of you. Got a lot of fun videos planned this haunt season. A lot of great events we're going to. We can't wait to take you on the ride with us. Stay spooky.